Hi, I'm Casey Malone with this week's edition of the Week in Review. Police responded to a home in Granby October 2nd after receiving a call from 26-year-old Jared Gorman, who was wanted on menacing charges. Gorman was very unstable, saying he was just a pawn in the government's game. Officer Dan Zasek-Smith responded to the call, and as he approached the front door, he heard footsteps inside and the distinct sound of a gun being loaded. Smith and the two deputies responding retreated from the door and took cover. When the door was opened, the officers could see Gorman inside the home with an assault rifle resting on his shoulder. Police consulted with the suspect's parents, and they went to the home and helped talk him out. Gorman was arrested and booked in the county jail for first-degree assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and prohibited use of a firearm. Police Chief Housley said at the time he was arrested, he was intoxicated and threatening to shoot the officers and come back later to kill them and their families. Gorman told the officers he was a prophet and the end is coming. Police recovered quite an arsenal of weaponry and are still trying to figure out if Gorman was plotting some sort of larger assault. Free recycling days are numbered at Grand County's Granby Landfill as 2009 budgeted funds for roll-offs are running out. The landfill is the last publicly funded recycling center left in Grand County. The Grand Lake Recycling Center closed the week before last when the town's recycling dollars ran out. Grand County budgeted $44,000 to operate the Grand County Landfill Recycling Center for 2009. By the end of September, the county had spent $31,000 of that budgeted amount. Recycling during the month of September cost the county $5,000, and recycling at the landfill may only last two or three more months. County officials have indicated that when those funds run out, it will be completely in the hands of private enterprise. Grand County Public Health received the first doses of H1N1 flu vaccine this week. These initial doses will be used to protect healthcare workers. The doses are a live attenuated influenza vaccine or nasal mist that is recommended only for healthy, non-pregnant individuals ages 2 through 49 with no underlying health conditions. Grand County Public Health is prioritizing distribution to assure the highest risk populations receive the vaccine first. The Colorado Department of Public Health said the current priorities are intended to protect those who are more likely to die from the flu first, not those who are likely to come into contact with it. Grand County Public Health will continue to receive small amounts of the H1N1 vaccine into January and beyond, depending on the disease. There's not a shortage of seasonal flu vaccine, but it's delayed at this time. Eventually, there will be enough vaccine for the citizens of Grand County to receive protection from H1N1 if they choose to do so. For more information on what's happening in Grand County, stay tuned to RSN TV 18. We bring you the latest news, entertainment, weather and conditions, as well as what to do and where to eat. For TV18, I'm Casey Malone, and I'll see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Beaver Village Condominiums and Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.